Welcome to the update. I'm Eleanor Quirk. The Australian Defence Force is on standby to help as the clean-up in the wake of Cyclone Kiralee continues in North Queensland. It comes after the Category 2 system lashed the region, falling trees and power lines and bringing heavy downpours. Emergency Management Minister Murray Watts says they are ready and prepared. For several days now we've had a number of ADF planners and National Emergency Management Agency staff embedded with the Queensland team here at headquarters. We've also put ADF personnel and helicopters that are based in Townsville on standby. As yet, they have not been required to assist, but they remain available to Queensland should they be required. Some parents are taking extreme measures to keep their wealth within the family. Family lawyers, wills and estates lawyers and financial planners are seeing increasing levels of parents seeking prenups or establishing trusts for their children. It comes as Australia continues to see rising rates of divorce among the younger generations with ABS data showing 44% of new marriages end in a split. Overseas and the UN's International Court of Justice has handed down a ruling to Israel urging the nation to prevent all acts within the scope of the Genocide Convention. But Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says they will continue to defend themselves. The vile attempt to deny Israel this fundamental right is blatant discrimination against the Jewish state. And it was justly rejected. And King Charles has broken royal protocol as he arrived for prostate surgery at the London Clinic. He was accompanied by Queen Camilla on his way to be admitted and visited Kate, who was in the same hospital after her abdominal surgery last week. The arrival defied long-standing traditions where royals do not make hospital visits. Sport and entertainment are next. To sport and Daniil Medvedev is into the Australian Open final after a sensational comeback from two sets down to beat Alexander Zverev in the fifth set. He'll now face Yannick Sinner for the championship. Against him, I need to be at uh, a at hundred. So he's playing better than before. He, I think it started probably when he won Canada or something like this, but especially end of the season, he started playing whole different level so if I want to beat him I have to raise my level on a whole different level and try I will try to do it to entertainment and it seems even Drew Barrymore gets catfished on dating apps the 48 year olds revealed on her talk show that she fell victim to a fraud who claimed to be the quarterback for NFL team the LA Rams and Britney Spears fans have rallied together to shoot one of her old hits up the charts her 13 year old hit selfish is surging in popularity after her ex Justin Timberlake released his new single with the same name and that's the latest from the Nova podcast team we'll see you again soon for another episode of the update.